I've done gone into the law of attraction a lot in my past and it didn't work for me and I eventually found out why. All right. And then next up, I have a question from Spasihle. Spasihle says, I am trying to manifest a job on a cruise ship. How would you go about doing that? And do you have any tips to help? I was thinking as a step of faith, I should apply for a passport while I'm still applying for the job. Also, I remember you saying we should have a catchphrase like I love my life or yes, I did it. However, I'm struggling to feel how it would feel to get to that place in my life. Can I also add on that I want to work on the ship to make money in order to purchase something? Should I concentrate on the feeling of the thing I want to purchase or the job? So great question, Spasitla. Thank you so much for asking it. And this is a really important topic. The topic of manifesting and law of attraction, that kind of thing. And the reason it's it's such an important topic is that there's a lot of information that is taught or that is shared that talks about it in the way of wishing. Okay, so you wish for something, you imagine it, you visualize it, affirmations, all of that, and then something outside of you, something or someone outside of you grants your wish. You get it from something, the universe or energy, whatever, different people believe different things. The challenge with that is it's a very disempowering state because you are at the mercy of and relying on something that you have no control over. You're counting on something, some power beyond you to make it happen for you. And it's okay. I mean, people believe that and that's okay. And if it works for you, fantastic. But I find, and I, all, you know, I've done, gone into the law of attraction a lot in my past and it didn't work for me. And I eventually found out why. And what I have discovered is for whatever is maybe magical beyond what we can see and beyond what we can tangibly experience, I have no doubt there's that kind of thing and there's all kinds of things we don't know about, we can't see and energy and all of that. And that's all fabulous. However, what I found is that it's the only thing that for me in my experience that is reliable and that I can count on is physiology. Meaning instead of the attitude of I'm going, you know, I'll, I'll, Imagine I'll um, visualize and I'll do the the affirmations and all of that. And then the universe is going to give me this thing, this experience or this thing, you know, house, car, whatever, relationship. Instead of that, I found the most effective thing to do is to change the physiology, which means the neural networks in the brain, which changes who I am and how I am responding, and the ideas I come up with, the problem solving, the opportunities I notice and don't notice, things that I, my judgment, things that I think are a good idea compared to not a good idea, all of that. Now, that is what got me from where I was stuck to the life I'm living today. Not wishing for something, visualizing it, and then it happening beyond my control or from outside of me. So that's one piece. Now, the other piece I want to really make a point of here is that we don't want things for the sake of having something. The only reason we want anything at all is because of how we think it will make us feel. And that can be really difficult to grasp because it feels like we want that thing. But if you think of anything, I want a relationship. Well, why do you want a relationship? Well, because it's nice to be in a relationship. I want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be on my own because I think I'll feel something. I think I'll feel connected. I think I'll feel it'll be fun or whatever. I want money. I I need more money. I want more money. Why do you want more money? Well, so that I can pay my bills. Why do you want to pay your bills? Well, because I don't want to feel indebted. I don't want to feel in trouble. I want to feel safe. So what you want there is not more money. 
What you want there is not even to pay your bills. What you really want is to feel safe. And the same goes for the job on the cruise ship. It's not the job on the cruise ship you want. It's not even the thing you want to purchase with the money you'll earn from the job on the cruise ship. You want to feel something. So let's say you get the job on the cruise ship, you make the money, and you purchase the thing you want to purchase. Now, what you want to do is, how would that feel? So how do I think I'll feel when I purchase this thing because I worked on the cruise ship? And that's what you want to grab as your end destination, because that is the end result. It may come from working on a cruise ship and purchasing this thing, or it may come from a completely unexpected route. There may be a different way that you end up feeling that way. There may be something you can't even imagine from where you are now. The biggest example from my life of this I was an actress, special actress before this life. And my big dream, the thing I was trying to manifest was living in LA, doing film and television. That was all I wanted. It was the thing, the only thing I felt would make me happy, the only life I wanted. And it was who I was. I grew up in a show business family. So this was just in my DNA. It, it's who I was. I could not see how I could ever be happy with any anything else, any alternatives. And when I thought of other things, oh, well, I could do something else, I found that depressing. And I thought, that's just going to be depressing to not be an actress, to not be in show business. However, when I switched, when I changed the childhood memories and I switched to creating a touchstone, and so I'll put the link to touchstones in the description of this video for those who are new, when I created the touchstone of the end result, the feeling of the end result, and for me, that was, I love my life, not in Hollywood or LA, no acting business, no, no bits and pieces that details. You can use the details just to get the feeling, and the feeling mine boiled down to was, I love my life. Doesn't matter what the details are. Now, if I hadn't done that, so I've ended up with the feeling, I love my life, but of course, nowhere near LA, <laughs> not in show business. If I had insisted that it, that was all I, that, that's the end result. The end result is being an actress in LA. I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be living a life I love. And interestingly, if someone now offered me a role in a movie or a TV series or anything like that, no matter how fantastic, I wouldn't want to do it. I would turn it down because that actually is not what I wanted. It's not what gave me that would give me this feeling. I'm living this feeling now. And it's the other piece here. I couldn't have imagined this from where I was. It wasn't something that I even knew about at that time. So being a professional actress in LA was the only thing I could see from where I was. I couldn't see the alternatives. So that's that piece. So boil it down to the end result feeling. How will it feel if you got those things, the job on the cruise ship and the, the thing you want to purchase, and then pick a phrase that goes with that. Take out all the details, just the feeling. So let's say you've got everything you want and you wake up in the morning. And how do you feel? That's what you want to use as your touchstone. And then make sure that feeling is in your childhood. So that's key. Make sure that you create childhood memories with that feeling. Again, it doesn't matter what the details are. As long as it's got that feeling. I love my life or yes, I did it. Or thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever will, will give you that feeling. So applying for a passport, you mentioned there, sure, you can apply for a passport, but don't be counting on the fact that it has to be that you work on a cruise ship. Keep focusing on the end result feeling. And I know what I want to say is the an analogy I like to use is if you want to end up in Hawaii, so you're going to get on a plane and fly to Hawaii, you don't really care what gate the plane is leaving from, right? You just want to get on a plane and end up in Hawaii. So your focus is on Hawaii. It's on being in Hawaii. It doesn't matter how you, it doesn't matter which, what route the plane takes or which gate it leaves from. That's the equivalent. So Hawaii in that analogy is the end feeling, not the details. Now, working on a cruise ship, so doing a particular job, getting the money, purchasing the thing, 
that's the gates you think the plane's going to leave from or the route you think it must take. It's the only route you know of. That's like getting to the airport. You want to end up in Hawaii. You think the plane is leaving from a particular gate and perhaps you were even told that's the gate it's leaving from. So you're sitting at that gate waiting for the plane. It's not coming. And there's been an announcement that it may leave from a different gate, but you are sitting at that gate and going, no, it's got to leave from here. It, this is the only gate it can leave from. And of course, if you do that, you're just going to sit at that gate. You're not going to get to Hawaii. So you want to be open to it, thinking Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. That's where I'm going to end up. And then when they say they've changed gates, I think you're open to that. And you're, oh, okay, well, it's leaving from a different gate. That's fine. I'm still going to end up in Hawaii. So the equivalent of that is it may or may not be a cruise ship. It may or may not be this thing you want to purchase. It may or may not be money. But as long as you keep your focus on Hawaii, which the equivalent is the feeling, the touchstone, then when things come up, you'll notice them and you will be able to think of, oh, they're there. How about that? Your brain will be open. Your mind will be open to other possibilities that may get you there quicker if that's the only way. So be sure that you are focusing on that end result, because while you're focusing on it needs to be a cruise ship. You have to apply for a job on a cruise ship in order to get the end result. There are other things your brain's filtering out. You're not even noticing, you're not even thinking of, or you're dismissing them because it's not a cruise ship, but it may be the route that gets you to what you want. One more thing I wanted to add here, and that was just going back to the law of attraction and manifesting and the kind of approach of asking for this thing and then something or someone outside of me is going to give it to me or make it happen for me. Where that comes from originally is the fact that we are conditioned from babies to have that perception of life because that's the reality when we are babies, babies and small children. So when we're born, we're completely helpless. We can't feed ourselves. We can't protect ourselves. We can't do anything, right? And so for quite a few years, from when we're born for quite a few years, we are relying on the adults around us to keep us alive, to feed us and protect us. That's number one. So everything we need is coming from someone outside of us. And everything that happens to us is coming from outside of us in those early years. So the brain is conditioned. We get to adulthood where that's no longer actual reality. We're still living it because the brains are conditioned that way. Everything I need, I need to get from someone outside of me, or something outside of me. The people in my life, the, the government, the universe, something outside of me is wh where I get my things from, my needs met. And everything that happens to me is happening from outside of me. But the reality is nothing can make you feel anything because physiologically feelings are only chemicals inside our body, inside our own bodies someone says something, or I get a job on a cruise ship, it's not those things that make me feel the thing. It's my body responds to those things and creates the feelings inside me. Now, you could sit in your living room and never go near a cruise ship and still feel the feelings, if you allow it. And because if you can sit there and imagine you're on a cruise ship. And as long as you allow yourself to do that, your brain, those connections between neurons are going to trigger the same chemicals it would produce if you were working on a cruise ship. And so you'd have those feelings. But what happens, of course, is we may start that way and then the conscious mind kicks in. Oh, yeah, but it's not really real. It's not, you know, I'm not really there and I'll never get there and all of whatever else. So it's interrupted. But when we watch a movie, we allow ourselves to get involved. And the brain produces the same chemicals it would if we were in that situation. So then we watch a scary movie and we feel the fear. We don't need to be in the situation to feel the fear. We don't need real zombies outside the house in order to feel fear, right? When we're watching that kind of movie. And in fact, that's when during the movie, when we want to say to ourselves, it's okay, it's just a movie, it's just a movie. But how difficult is that once those chemicals are going? That is how you know that you don't need something outside of you to create the feelings inside you. In fact, we don't even need to be watching movie all the time. We're thinking of things we're worried about. 
and then feeling the feelings as if it's happening, but it's not yet. It's not happening. It may never happen, but we're feeling the feelings, the fear, the worry, the anxiety, the what if this and what if that. We're creating feelings based on not on what's around us, but inside. We don't generally do the same as much with positive things. We tend to not spend as much time daydreaming of the wonderful things and allowing ourselves to produce those chemicals and feel those feelings as if we're there the way we do with negative stuff. And that's because, you know, that's natural. It's humans because the brain is trying to focus on the danger because that's going to keep us alive. Focusing on the good stuff is not about survival. So that's why the, focusing on the negative stuff is stronger. But the point I want to make there is you don't need anything outside of you. You don't need your circumstances to change. You don't need other people. You don't need anything outside of you to create the feelings inside, inside you that you want. It's just connections between neurons and chemicals. And even when it is re in response to something outside of you, it's still connections between neurons and chemicals. That's all. There's nothing that can get from out there into your body and change your chemistry. I'll end on this little piece. And I know I have shared this before, but I'm going to share it again for those who haven't heard it. And also it may be a, a good reminder. It helped me massively. It was a huge penny drop for me. And it may not be for everybody, but my brain just went, okay, now I get it. A few years ago, and I don't know when it was, it could have been yeah, 2012 or something. I don't know. Whenever The Secret came out, the movie The Secret. So whenever that was, I think it was long before 2012. Anyway, I saw, watched The Secret and got really deep into everything about the law of attraction. I was making use of all of the information that I could find. And I was doing everything they said. I was doing the visualizing as if it's now. I was feeling it. I was doing the affirmations. I was really getting into it, the whole thing. And nothing was changing. Nothing in my, in my life was changing at all. And I was very dedicated and very determined and all of that. And I remember saying to my sister, I'm doing everything they said. I am being positive. I'm doing the visualization. I'm doing everything. And yet I'm not getting any help. The universe is not bringing me anything. And my sister said, good deal. If there is anything or anyone out there watching you, they're not going to put down their popcorn to come and help you. I just thought, number one, it made me laugh. But number two, I thought, oh, okay, I get it. It's not that it's not working. It's not that I'm not being good and I'm not, not being rewarded. It's not that there isn't anyone or anything out there. It's that this is about me doing stuff. This is about me getting into alignment and then taking action, taking inspired action. It's about me changing my brain, which allows me to think differently, to notice different things, to react different, to communicate differently, to problem solve differently and all of that. And as I went along that path, and then of course discovered the thing about changing childhood memories, which was the missing piece, then that's when my life started changing. Not because someone or something outside of me did some magical presentation to me. So hopefully that helps, but let me know if you have any questions about that, you need more suggestions or more clarification on anybody. Mm -hmm.